Hello, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing like Pokemon stuff. So, hopefully, you enjoy. So, currently, it's, this is like my favorite ways to fill up the Pokedex extremely quick. So, like, if you just start out the game, or like you just you finished the game a while ago, but if you like getting shinies for the new Diamond and Pearl game coming out, so like that, and you want to get I forget what gen it is, but I'll get shinies for those games then. And you want to complete the Pokedex again? In this game, the best by the time. So, so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how it's done and the quickest ways to do it. So, yeah, so, oh, so yeah, me. So, maybe if you enjoy my videos soon to come. That sounded weird, but it's not, I don't get why I said that, but so. Yeah, so don't forget to like, like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. And for all of you that did subscribe, I changed my name. So, yeah, so pretty much, if you go into your Pokedex, it would show these things. So, those things are really useful. So, like, whenever you go around to catch Pokemon, stuff like that, it's super useful to have. So you know which Pokemon you are missing exactly, so you don't waste all your Pokeballs on the Pokemon you think you're missing. So then, once, so then, and it would also tell you when it's complete. When you complete that little entry thing. So then if we go right here, that's where it says it would be find, found. You see my head right now? And the water bottle. So I need to be able to get my phone to play the Pokemon game. So yeah, it says it would be around here. So yeah, you know you're there when you see like the little smiley face icon and stuff like that. That's you, that's your character. So, yeah, so then you would go around and then just like go in the grass and stuff, trying to find it. So I'll, so I'll find it. Oh, never mind. It's right there. <laughs> and then you switch to the Pokeball that you wanted in and stuff. Then you throw it. Of course, you probably already know how to do it. This is number one and stuff like that. This is can also be combined with my second one, I guess. So it's against that one. Um, it should pop up here. See, it would say Pokedex updated. Excellent. And then it would show you the next ones to catch. So, yeah. So, yeah, so my next favorite way to do it is like, and pretty much like, it will make your life like a million times easier if. You just go into the, um, when you get on a new route, you just, like, catch each Pokemon on that route and stuff like that. It just makes your life, like, infinitely easier when, like, you're towards the end of the game and having to spend, like, a whole lot of time catching, like, each individual Pokemon while, like, while you're on a, but instead, if you're on a route towards, like, a new gym or something, or a route that you have to cross, then catch like each Pokemon there, trust me, it'll make your life so much easier. So, the next one on the list is involves Pokemon Home and Pokemon Go. So, and this can also work for like if you're wanting to complete the game like super easily and stuff like that. So, how you complete the game really easily is that. If you download Pokemon Home on your phone first, and then when you download it, okay, you do the whole tutorial thing or whatever to show how to catch your Pokemon, and you get like Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, if you walk a bit further, you get like Pikachu, yeah, that stuff. I think, um, so, once you get, so once you get that stuff done, then catch a few more Pokemon that you actually want in your decks. Okay, and then transfer that Pokemon into home, okay? I'm not making this up, it worked for me. And 
stuff like that. If you transfer Pokemon from Go into Home, you get a level 100 Mel Metal. I'm not making this up, it is true. Level 100 Mel Metal. You may not believe me, but go try it yourself, okay? It's the most easiest thing way to win the game, and it doesn't count to it for a trade too. You can literally, like, once you get the boxes and stuff like that, I think once you get the mobile box or whatever that you can have, that works. That works too, or you can just get it at the very beginning when you first get to the Pokemon Center. It's gonna make your life so much easier if you just wanna, like, get the game over with and stuff like that. And you just, like, wanna play it just for, like, fun and stuff. Like that. Like, for me personally, I had to... I had to play it again for Sword. So I just got my, um... Mel Metal from home. And stuff like that. So that was lots of fun. So, the moves that it comes with is... Dang it, why won't this... I'm just getting the ball. Um... It comes with Double Iron Bash, um, Thunder Punch, Dynamic Punch, and Hyper Beam, I think, or whatever it's called. I forget. I think it's, it's one of those things. So, it's really cool. And the reason I say to get Pokemon Go and stuff like that with it is because when you get Go and stuff like that, there may be version exclusives and you don't have any friends or another switch to trade with, it's extremely easy because there's no version exclusives in there. And when you do transfer a Pokemon over, if you transfer a specific kind of Pokemon, you can get um you get the starters for the um Poke for the um Sword and Shield games, which is really cool. So, yeah, when you get the starters, it's really cool to have if you're trying to complete the Pokédex. Because I don't know if you can get the starters, actually, in the wild. So, it's so much fun, too, to play Pokémon Go, because you can get easy shinies there, too. And, of course, it stays in the Great Ball, not Ultra Ball. So, oh, it's extremely easy to play too. Like, once you know it, it's good. Easy shinies too. I got like a whole bunch of shinies in it. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun to play also sometimes. So, another, yeah, and again, it's such an easy way if you're trying to complete the Pokedex. That's what I did. With it. That's how I can play the Pokedex and the Shield. So now, on to the um, the next, the next way is like um, man, I forget. Oh, never mind. There is no next one. <laughs> so yeah, those are pretty much like the easiest ones that I could think of. Stuff like that. I mean, they're not the hardest, that's for sure. Um, so yeah. So. I think we'll just, like, talk Pokemon right now and stuff. So, so. Now I guess I'll cover the topic of... Well, no, I'll do yeah, so that so this video is trying to complete the um the Pokedex again. So it'll be a lot of fun too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to complete the Pokedex and stuff like that. Well, kind of like the concept is fun of it, like. Most people don't do it and stuff like that. 
because it takes them a long, but like, when they're determined to like, complete the Pokedex, like, they're gonna, they're gonna, like, the Pokedex, it'll take a while to complete, it took me like, almost two weeks to finish, but, like, cause of, tr pretty much like, the only reason that took me so long to finish was trade evolutions, and sometimes the specific evolutions did not work for me. So, that sucked. Like the Yaw Mask one, the glare in your mask. Yeah, that evolution barely worked for me. So yeah, so that evolution barely worked for me. There's also some other ones that are pretty difficult to do also and stuff, which sucks. Because like, there's also like rare Pokemon too. So like that, that take a while to spawn in and stuff like that. There's some things also that are very weird to get the evolution for for them. So be careful with that when you're trying to complete it. Like when you're trying to complete those evolutions and stuff like that, it takes at least like five, eight hours of gameplay maybe to get the um special evolutions, all of them, and trade evolutions too and stuff like that. So like, yeah, make sure like you have like a friend or something to play. Pokemon with and they have an, a different copy and stuff like that or just like have like your own switch or just like transfer them in from home and stuff like that <laughs> I mean from go dip to home and also will make it a lot faster than the catching charm so you can get the catching charm by talking to the, um, going into the uh, building to get the catching charm, which is you talk to the scientist guy, that also gives you the, um, shiny charm too when you can be that. Like, if you're looking for shiny Pokemon and stuff like that, then I would rec, then like, it's highly recommended to complete the Pokedex. So that way you can get the um the shiny charm, which is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So having to grind out like like a, like ten thousand eggs and like like a hundred thousand like not nah, hundred thousand pretty much like a whole lot of eggs and stuff like that. You don't, you don't need without the shiny charm. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got one sixty Pokemon. I'm just focusing on catching my all the Pokemon that I can catch in this game. So I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure to don't forget well hopefully like and subscribe for more Pokemon content.